Hello my friends and welcome to the channel for another Stalker Anomaly video. If I sound a bit weird, you'll have to forgive me, I've been battling a nasty chest cold, but I've got about 50 hours of Stalker footage on my hard drive that I need to do something with, so here we are. My last Stalker adventure, I had my first taste of what's waiting for me below the surface of the zone in the Agriprom underground tunnels, and I realized pretty quickly I needed to gear up a bit more before I took on anything bigger. So I did a fair bit of questing and looting and managed to put together a bit of an armor upgrade, get myself a mostly working G36 rifle, a new SMG, and a better shotgun, which I took on a bit of a test drive to clear out the bandit camp in Dark Valley for some extra supplies, and faced one of my first high-tier Psy Mutants. Dude, there's so many bandits here. Fuck, slugs are overpowered. Unless you miss! Dean. Every bandit I kill, I'm gaining like three extra frames. Oh shit, that hurt. I'm gonna avenge the milkman with my new G36. No, I lied. Dude, there's a million bodies to loot. Hello. 99% bolt carrier? And 30 rounds out of the mag? Woo -hoo -hoo. It looks like this has... Um... Ah! What is going on? Okay, okay. That is so loud. This is some bad shit, isn't it? Okay, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> is this a is this a run the fuck away kind of a situation? Probably best not to loot till after you kill it. Okay, I was just not sure if it was something that I was gonna be able to kill. Where the fuck is it? Oh, right there? Oh, that's a, that's a hallucination. Was that him? Jesus, I didn't want to shoot my companions. Holy shit. After this little side mission to get geared up, it was time to head through the wild territory back to Yantar, regroup with the ecologists, and pick up my first major key story item, the Psy Helmet, which protects you against the magical MacGuffins hidden in the secret underground labs that everyone seems to know about. After I picked up the Psy Helmet, I figured there was no time like the present to delve deeper into the bowels of the zone and turn off the miracle machine so that my eventual journey to the north past the Red Forest might be a little bit easier. As usual with this game, every new area is 10% cooler than anything else you've seen up until that point, and Lab X-16 was no exception. Serving up a dark, tent slog through an area where your light doesn't work properly, and mutants are waiting around every corner to cut your adventure short. Do you got a sweet helmet for me there, Dr. Bald Man? Is it ready yet? Yes. Disable the miracle machine and the brain scorcher. Oh, what the hell? Oh man, you can't even cheese the fucking ghosts by standing on top of things. These fucking things. Smoke weed every day. Oh 
god. Well, hold on to your butts. My, like, light doesn't want to work. I can't see! <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go ahead and load last save. Ow. Jesus, why am I missing the ladder? Fuck, I hate shooting at these snorks, man. Is fucking everywhere, man. Ah! I count my guy's headlamps are working fine, though, you know? If I could just have them stay facing my direction. She would cancel the shotgun reload faster. Dude. This is <laughs> something else, man. Fucking hell! Why is my gun malfunction? I said I had 18 rounds. Oh, because I didn't clean it, I bet. Oh, that's a pretty cool animation. No, it's clean. Boys, I demand you come and help me. Okay, one room at a time. I hate it. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. Is this the thing? Can I just hit the switch? What? I see. There's four switches on different levels. 
Oh good, oh good, I can't see. And it's not even dead. I'm like out of fucking ammo for that. What the hell is going on with my head? <laughs> Why am I like horizontal on the ground? Yeah, but I just didn't want all of it, all of it. What the hell? My guy's gonna shoot himself! No! Oh, good god! <laughs> oh, what just happened? I don't know why I died. Okay, aggression. Oh no, god. Dude, trusty Ketter. Well, I hope my guys feel good about fucking abandoning me to my fate down here. Hey, bros. Are we safe now? Uh, no. Get him! Fucking get him! Oh, I think that's my buddy. Oh, oh good. Did you just throw something at me? Ah, you're too fat to get through, you fucker! I see. I thought he was like throwing hunks of rubble at me or something. So is this a side pseudo giant? Yeah. Uh, yeah, also when I came here and it I ignited this, I thought for some reason it was gonna let me ignite this like pool on the ground. I was like, can I fucking burn this guy? Daylight? Oh my god, daylight. After I got out of the lab, I decided more upgrades were definitely in order. I clearly needed night vision to help in the underground because the flashlights just didn't cut it, and I had parts to build a better rifle and a better shotgun, getting myself an SG-550 rifle with a scope and the Ithaca defense shotgun, which had a bigger magazine. I took a little bit to get my supplies in order and build new gear, and then I headed out for my first nighttime raid to the truck cemetery to take down a pair of Psy mutants who had reportedly been hunting stalkers throughout the nighttime. Which haunts the truck cemetery, and he told me to go at night. I hear you. That's not the one, though. That's just a little baby flesh. Is 
Ooh, there's a setting that unequips and dude, I swear. Every time I've said something, somebody's been like, oh, there's actually a setting for that in the menu. I'm assuming that this is not good. Dude, <laughs> I can't remember who said it, but talking about how this place is just like a vibe at night with night vision. <laughs> like, you're so right. It's awesome. Well, hello! After this little side quest excursion, so I was feeling good about my new gear and decided to just put another dent into the main quest line, with my next objective being to talk to the gatekeeper, an NPC in the army warehouses who sort of monitors the traffic of stalkers coming and going to the more northern parts of the zone, the most dangerous and unpredictable areas patrolled by high-tier mutants, and the aggressive monolith and sin factions who basically shoot everything on sight. After a short battle with monolith troops trying to push us back, my companions and I headed north into the radar to begin a bit of a knockdown, drag out fight to dislodge the monolith from their base and clear out Lab X19 and disable the Brain Scorcher, which prevents other stalkers from journeying to the north. the red forest I have to assume which I'm guessing is called that because of it's that giant area of forest where like the smoke went from the power plant went over where it all like went from green to red right after the accident which is cool it's like a little bit spooky but also a little bit historical like, this whole game spooky science fiction fantasy but with like enough doses of reality to make it that much more spooky I don't like this moaning wait I should have brought all of my hydroshock oh <laughs> that was close The Jupiter checkpoint spelt with an X. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, this is a fun area. Honestly, as cowardly as it sounds, I think I might have to turn back and come back. Like, I've got barely any buckshot left. Oh, Jesus, I've got no matches to start fires to save. Where'd you come from? Only game with worse audio than Tarkov! I'm dead here. Yeah. Let's 
these fucking towers that are ruining my goddamn life right now. Well, I'm going to take a trip in here and see how long before I want to run away. I wasn't sure what to expect once I entered the lab. A countdown timer started up, the audio got really muffled, and I sort of figured it was just going to be a timed puzzle. And then bingo, I would be back in Rostock before dark. However, it turns out the monolith did not take too kindly to having their base cleared out and their secret labs raided, launching a pretty big counterattack against you in the lab once you've turned off the brain scorcher. That's normal. Okay. Fuck sakes. Okay, okay. Bunch of pay phones. Well, I'm sure they're not payphones. They're just going to look like payphones. Oh, there's two consoles there. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's like you're damned if you do, damned if you don't down here with the lighting options because everything's so fuzzy with the night vision that I can't fucking see anything. But without the night vision, it's too dark. There we go. I have unlocked the Dugga Free Achievement. Oh, good spooky noises. Dude, that was, I hit that guy twice in the head with AP strikes and didn't die. Fucking smack me, I can't aim, man. Dude, when you get punched in the face, you just cannot aim. So this is where you guys were saying grenades are my best friend. Quick save. I really love the vibe of being down here with just the headlamp. <clears throat> Is there any gun mounted flashlights? <laughs> Shot that guy in the dick. <laughs> There's at least 15 more. Okay. Good to know.
hate how fast these guys move. Is that what the beeps are when I'm hitting guys? Is it's like detecting the stacks of the relic? Okay. Spartan helmet. That seems like a good one. I was just reading the description there. Little bastard. You know what? I think he's stuck under those stairs. No, he's still fucking alive. Let's try hard. Why won't he die? Holy shit, this guy was strong. I'm too encumbered to move. I have picked up an awful lot of stuff. Does Hercules kind of do the same thing? Lots of weight and stamina. I guess I could read it. Oh yeah, weight carried plus, I think that was six kgs. To a lesser extent than Epi, okay. Around the corner. Shit. You know what? I'm just gonna have this out. Just kind of assuming that they're gonna fucking bum rush me down this hallway. I played a couple video games in my day. Okay, are there going to be a whole bunch of monoliths that just respawn? Okay. I'm going to leave behind a few things for weight. Don't go to the red forest. I want to turn around and go this way. Oh, привет. Oh, he can repair this for 29k. But I might not be able to repair it. I'll repair that for cost 74,000. <laughs> so obviously that's pretty good armor. Yeah, okay, no, I can repair this with normal stuff. Lit. Okay, better helmet. With the lab cleared, the monolith pushed back, and the way forward open, the next step was a journey through the Red Forest, a highly irradiated patch of forest which got a huge amount of fallout in the initial days of the Chernobyl disaster. Turning the leaves of these trees a dead red color, 
and at least in stalker lore, making it a hotbed for powerful mutants, monolith soldiers, and cultists of the Sin faction, who I'd never seen before. Oh, Red Forest is where Sin is located. Great. There's a lot of fucking mutants here. It's me in the magazine. Get him, boys. I got faith in you. Oh, I'm pretty sure the scientist just died. <laughs> Why is these metal doors opening and closing by themselves? Dude, I'm pretty sure another one of my guys just got murdered. What just got me? I think my my rookie clear sky guy got killed, but my my expert loner is still alive, so that's okay. That's monolith, right? Dude, teaming up with this expert guy was fucking kind of elite. Maybe. He almost got killed there. Me and the Yo, where the fuck did this guy come from? Was he even monolith? Yeah, okay. Okay, so basically hard west from here. And look at this, he's got an SR2 as well. Oh, dude, that was so lucky. I hit my stalker guy in the face once. So you're saying if I push through Red Forest and just make it to here, to Jupiter, there is there friendly people there? Like I can set up a backpack and be able to fast travel? I knew that once I was through the Red Forest, I would have some chance at finding a safe place to set up my next base camp further north in Jupiter, where I'd been told there was a friendly base full of loners and ecologists. So I pushed through to the train station where they set up their camp, got to know the lay of the land a little bit, and called it a day. Getting to the north felt like a big milestone, and I know I'm just a stone's throw away from the city of Pripyat, 
and my eventual goal of reaching the Chernobyl power plant. Judging by how much the difficulty keeps ramping up with every step forward, I might need to expand my arsenal again before I get too carried away. Thanks for checking out the video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you're interested in following along on this playthrough live, I've got links to my Twitch channel and Discord server down below in the description. And let me know in the comments what you recommend for endgame gear to take on Sin and Monolith in the north. Thanks again, and stay safe out there in the zone, stalkers.